Hey guys, welcome to Bluegrass Garage for a little bit different kind of video here. I'm going to go off script a little bit. Not that I'm ever on script, but I just want to talk about something that has been on my mind for a while now, and uh, I feel like I'm not the only one. So, being a car guy or gal in 2020, what's that like? Well, first of all, let's back up a minute. So this channel, obviously, is not the same as some of these big automotive YouTube channels where they're reviewing million dollar Lamborghinis or whatever, and that's great. We all want that, but that's not what most of us you know, are, most of us have, and most of us, it's not reality. Reality for most of us is, you know, we're a car guy and we have something like this, you know, a 2002 Mustang. Or maybe we do have this 69 Camaro that's behind you here, or that uh, GTO. Still all very normal cars that are easily attainable by most people. Now, they may not be Barrett Jackson cars, but they're normal cars that many of us can afford. It's not like cars are the only part of my life that are probably not the only part of your life. You probably have a job, you probably have a wife, kids, husband, responsibilities to where your car hobby is even though you love it and enjoy it it's a small part of your life and that's how it is for me so so that being said being a car guy in 2024 is a lot it's a lot different than it was i would say prior to 2020 2021 there's a lot of things that have happened in the world in society that has kind of at least for me and probably others too, dampen the mood in the country, taking away maybe some desire or um, love of car culture. And that's kind of depressing. Um, and it not only is things just cost more because let's face it, inflation is not 2.8% or whatever. In reality, it's 30, 40%. And that's not only affecting groceries and, and energy costs, it's also affecting prices of car parts or cars in general. And if you're spending an extra 40% on groceries, that's less you can spend on a hobby. And that's kind of upsetting because your hobby is supposed to be fun, hopefully a stress reliever. And I feel like with everything going on, there's extra stress put on you. And regardless if you can spend more money or less on your car, the extra stress on you it affects your ability to have fun with the things that should be fun, such as driving your convertible or fixing up your old Camaro or, or whatever that is for you in the car hobby, car world. Um, not in addition to just the money itself, just you know the inflation itself, just the mood in the country as a whole just seems very muted and suppressed. And I think that's affecting people mentally, physically um, since 2020. Um, and also, on top of all that, when your mood is, is, is suppressed like that, you, you lose some of your desires and aspirations. Some of your goals and, and dreams and stuff get also put on the back seat because you're just trying to keep a roof over your head. You know, maybe you have kids, you want to keep your kids fed and you want to you know, keep the electricity on if it's that bad. I mean, who knows? The point is, is... Um, when this situation is reality, it takes away those dreams. And that's really upsetting. I think we need to get back to having this American dream or, or whatever you want to call it. And especially in relation to being a car guy or gal. So all I want to say is everyone out there, if you are facing these situations or you also understand what I'm saying, let's try to uplift each other. Bring everybody's spirits back up. Hopefully we can get back to a positive state in the country. And, you know, maybe one day uh, things will return back to normal. Who knows? But until then, whatever your definition of being a car guy or gal is, get out there and do it. Enjoy life. Have fun. You only live once. Thank you very much.